Hello and welcome to another install video on the Z here. Uh, in this video I'll be installing this RJM uh, clutch pedal. This is the 3.3 version. Uh, but first I should mention a little bit about this because quite a bit has happened since uh, I've last filmed. So I'm going to pass the camera off to this guy here. He's, uh, he's like the expert camera holder here. And uh, I'll explain. I'll, I'll be quick, I'll be quick. Okay, so about maybe a month ago, I routine maintenance, changing the oil. I figured I would bleed the clutch uh, because the fluid in there looked black, um, which is not good for clutch fluid. Uh, I thought I would replace it with some Motul 600, which is dot four brake fluid. Um, and it has a much higher boiling point um, because with the 370Zs, it is known for if it'll happen, it's about when it'll happen, uh, your clutch slave cylinder will go out. I'm telling you it'll go out, because I was like, I'll wait, do it later, but this car has 27,000 miles on it or so. So anyways, I was I was uh, bleeding the clutch, didn't think anything of it, and then the more and more I bled it, I made sure all the air was out, and my clutch, no pressure. So my uh, slave cylinder finally went out. Um, I actually got the Z-Speed relocation kit um, and I had someone come to my house and they took the transmission out for me and uh, it was a really cool learning experience. Uh, I did pay them, um, but I, I did, I feel like I did learn a lot and I'm, I'll, I'll put a little boomerang up here from when the transmission was out. But it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, then I also replaced the clutch main cylinder. And uh, everything, everything is good now. I went with the OEM main cylinder because the main cylinder should not fail again. And uh, the Z-Speed relocation kit came with a new slave cylinder. And uh, everything is good now with this car. Um, but everyone rants and raves about this uh, RJM clutch pedal. So today I'm going to see if it's really all that. Um, but I'm really happy that the slave cylinder problem uh, is future proof now because it it, uh, it just gets too hot in the relocation kit, takes it and moves it outside of the transmission so it's less heat. And then I got that dot four brake fluid in there so much higher boiling point and uh, we should be good to go. So uh, let's go on with this install. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys can notice but uh, the car, I got it tinted. I got a Lumar 30% uh, IRX film all around uh, on the back window, the sides and everything, which is uh, some of the best film uh, Lumar makes. It was expensive, but definitely worth it. And then I got the Lumar Air, which is 80% on the front. Let me tell you, the infrared on this bad boy, the infrared ceramic keeps this car nice and cool. And uh, it's not super dark. It probably looks pretty dark right now on camera, but it's really not as dark as you would think it is. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with going 30 all around and then 80 on the front. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Yeah, there's not a lot of room down there, is there? All right, popped that sneaky Clears McFarlane pinned out and uh, moving on to getting some bolts and some sensors out. So like Ryan said, he popped out the, the Clevis fork. Um, and the two bolts on the top up here that we're about to take out are 12 millimeter bolts. And I would recommend taking off this piece. It's held in by this weird little bolt uh, right here in the back. So make sure you grab that. And uh, yeah, we're about to rip these, not rip them, but about to take these 12 mils out. All right, so the bottom one, all I used was a deep well, and I think this is a six inch extension. Maybe yeah, not nah, six. Oh man, that makes me feel kind of bad, huh? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, this top one, I'm just trying to get at it with this flex head here that I have. So we'll see how that works out for me. It's kind of difficult to read. Yeah, it's uh, it's not fun. So after you get those bolts off, you got this sensor. You just can get it off with your fingers, and then the top sensor right up there, you can get it with your fingers too. Okay, so Ryan just yeeted the very, very top bolt out with a pretty long extension. And uh, he, he used some pliers here to get the uh, connector out. 
And now he's uh, pulling the clutch out. So we're about halfway done. Look at that, we have three bolts. Why do we have three? I don't know, dude, I don't know where that one came from. So we have this awful, awful, awful clutch pedal with the uh, stupid helper spring. It's literally the worst thing ever. But uh, we gotta swap a lot of this stuff over, so that's what we're gonna do. And uh, just like that, Ryan turned my car into an automatic. Let's go. Freaking automatic. So we got both these clutch pedals here. Um, this is actually why this clutch pedal sucks here, this clutch helper spring. Um, it has like a little bit of play in it. And then it, that was an awful demonstration. <laughs> okay, so like, it just like, you imagine you're like trying to take off slowly at the light. And then you're like trying to ease. And then the clutch helper spring just says, eat. So like, yeah, you, you can't really take off super smoothly. Technically that'd be the opposite way of engaging the clutch, but yeah. Yeet. The clutch says, yeet. I don't yeet. know. I mean, <laughs> it, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good for dumping the clutch, right? But uh, yeah, we have these side by side. We're, we're gonna need to replace some sensors in the, ah! The sensor. And the sensor, the sensor here. Um, but Ryan's gonna cut the zip tie and hopefully this thing freaking rockets to the moon. <laughs> wow. That was anticlimactic. That was anticlimactic. So, uh, first off, we're gonna take this top sensor out, reuse it. <laughs> yeah. Ryan's weak. It's a weak ah. one. Using my bad Ooh. arm, my guy. All right, my bad, my bad. We're we're briefly interrupted by uh, there's there's a lot of people on Ryan Street right now, so uh, they're they're trying to get through. But we won't let them. Yeah, we're blocking the road out here. And then we're gonna take this bottom sensor out, place that too. Ryan's freaking getting it done. I just like turned that bolt like an idiot. Did you see that? Uh, well, all YouTube saw it. This video is gonna get Don't a million views. Don't hire me for mechanics. Hire my dad instead, please. Shout out Ryan's dad. Hey, I ain't rounding them off though. Yeah. Who, 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 are you, who are you talking to? Me? Talking about me rounding off uh, exhaust bolts? That never happened. So trim tools come in handy. We got one of the rubber stoppers out. And then, oh, two of the rubber stoppers out. I spoke too soon. And then this is gonna be the pedal stopper right back here. We don't got that metal on metal contact. It might the need some determination. Pliers. Some pliers. Some pliers. You gotta get out with your hands, man. No pliers around here. So the top sensor's in. We got the stopper in. Uh, I'm about to put the actual pedal on here. But uh, this washer here is like, it doesn't work on either of them. So I think we're gonna have to go get a new washer, unfortunately. But everything else is going pretty decent. But we're gonna run to Ace Hardware real quick. Okay, so we got all everything we needed from uh, Ace Hardware. Got one of these nuts that actually spins on there. Um, me and Ryan were having the worst time getting this old Clevis fork off. Um, we tried and tried and tried everything, um, but what we found worked was, uh, we sprayed some WD-40 on it, um, and I just used these pliers and a wrench and just gave it my all. Um, I was really scared I was gonna bend it or break it, but we're good, um, and I didn't get any WD-40 on my wires, so that's also a plus. Another thing I would recommend on this install, we have a towel here. But get yourself some nice knee pads, because I'm going to have a skinned up knee by the end of this one. What about you, Ryan? Yeah, I'm on my back. I'm alright. Mister, I, I'm slim and I can fit through anywhere. Frickin' this guy. So we got two little rubber spacers to space out the clutch pedal since Oh, you the, think those are rubber? Uh, well... They're nylon, sir. Two nylon little spacers to space out the clutch pedal so it can sit where the stock one sat, because the stock one's a little thicker, I believe. Um, but Ryan's over here putting the new Clevis fork in, the heavy duty one. And I think we'll be able to get this clutch pedal in. Still shaken up by that stupid 
clevis fork. Everything uh, made it seem like it was gonna be really easy to get out, but definitely took some muscle and some liquid. So, unfortunately, I didn't get the thumb a whole lot. Uh, me and Ryan got very, very frustrated with this because there's the adjustment right up here that goes up and down to make the uh, clutch fork go into the master cylinder uh, straight instead of like up kind of like at a diagonal angle so it's straight in um, but we got everything in finally um, it was very annoying uh, I really hope I really hope none of you guys putting this clutch pedal in your car have as much pro trouble as we did but yeah, and we're finally done with this. Uh, I guess it's the moment of truth now to see how this thing goes. Fuck that cleavage fork. Fuck those bolts. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know. It, it's just, it's been a day. I'm gonna cut to me turning on the car now. Okay, so we got a uh, moment of truth here. We'll see, I have not touched this clutch yet. I'm hitting the brake, hitting the gas to see if this is a good spot for me. And clutch pedal going in. All right, right off the bat, it feels really low to the ground. Like you need it higher? Yeah, probably should adjust it a little higher. Good thing we can do that. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna let this car warm up a second and I think I'm gonna adjust it up higher. Okay, so I Adjusted it a little bit. I'm probably gonna end up adjusting it more, but uh, I'm just gonna take it out real quick. See how it goes. Hopefully we uh, can do this. Oh, we stalled. <laughs> Feels really good though. It definitely feels really good. Okay, so uh, I guess I didn't have the adjustments tight enough. My foot is a lot stronger than my arms, I guess, but I tightened it up and it feels really solid now. Um, Give him a good old view on where you got that. You guys will be able to see. I'm trying to keep this kind of like flush with the brake pedal. Um, it should be nice and uh, flush now. <laughs> yeah, it's where the OEM pedal, which is the feel I'm going for. But yeah, just make sure these are really tight. There right, you ready? Yes, sir, we've got a good test for Joseph here. Leaving my neighborhood, there's a pretty uh, substantial hill. So we'll see how he handles it. Unfortunately, it's okay. I don't know, it's just turning right up. I am back home. I've gotten a solid maybe two hours or so of driving uh, with this new clutch pedal. And uh, it's pretty great. Um, I do have some gripes. Uh, first off, uh, when I was tightening the adjustments, one of the bolts actually completely just exploded, snapped in half. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I went to Lowe's and got new bolts. So that was nice that I could find new ones and uh got that squared away but uh to be honest when it comes down to this pedal it's definitely better than the stock pedal uh the feels better it just feels a lot smoother taking off uh the shifts feel a little better i'm not sure if it's just because i'm so used to the stock pedal or what but i don't think it's substantially enough to upgrade for the price in my opinion um, I mean, I already bought the pedal and installed it, um, so I'm not going to take it off. But if I were to do this again, I don't think uh, I would really replace the OEM pedal. Um, I know it does suck. In my opinion, the stock pedal isn't that bad. Maybe my opinion will change in the future, 
but as of right now, about two hours of driving on this thing, it's good, but uh, I don't think it, I don't think it uh, stands up to the hype that this pedal, uh, everyone says, says about this pedal. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed. If anybody has any questions, let me know below, because uh, I know we ran into some problems on the install, but uh, I think that'll be it. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully it's an exciting one.